today on the Megabit, I'm going to be talking about Bad Piggies, which came out today, and a couple of other fun apps that I've been messing with as well. We're going to start off with a game called Boom Time Baseball. Now, I particularly love baseball games. To me, it seems to be a sport that's particularly suited for translation to video games. Uh, there's some kind of touchy, wiggly, uh, move your phone about thing that's very popular, home run battle or something. This is the same kind of thing, but it works with the touch screen, and it's more difficult than a motherfucker. It also has a freemium model, so you can have a go for free, and it has a, a very broad arcade element, target practice and so forth, and it has an absolutely irresistible 1940s style. It's set in the golden age of baseball, and it has a full jazz soundtrack. It is lovely. Second up on my list is Indestructible, and I had a go of this because it's also free and has a freemium model. Uh, it's been getting a lot of good press in things like the Guardian Tech blog, and it's a twin-stick shooter where you drive cars around and shoot at each other. Uh, you want better cars, you have to pay real money for it, and so forth. Now, I wasn't particularly into this one, but uh, on the other hand, I am a tremendous twin-stick purist, complete and utter snob. Uh, I would refuse to deviate from the Holy Trinity, which is Robotron, Llamatron, and the Geometry Wars series. And if you thought that Smash TV was going to be on that list, then no, no, bad, bad and wrong. Smash TV is a horrible player killer of a game, and if you remember it as being good, then you haven't played it recently. And your memory is probably so selective that you still remember Independence Day as being a good film. Moving on, Airport Scanner is another one, which is completely free and you may not have heard of. Airport Scanner is a game in which you play the guy whose job it is to sit at the airport all day and look at x-rays of people's bags. It starts you off very, very simply with a big cartoon stick of dynamite and a big cartoon axe that you have to look out for. Then it moves up to things which are still dangerous, but you might not think of being immediately dangerous, such as ice skates, which have blades on them, and by the time the difficulty level is completely ramped up, you're looking for shampoo bottles, liquids, the whole thing. It's, in visual terms, it's very reminiscent of the classic Atari game APB. Unlike APB, there's a satirical and violent mini-game in between levels. In APB, you had to wiggle the joystick to shake a confession out of the suspect. In, in uh, Airport Scanner, every time you pull somebody off a plane, the, a, a couple of big burly TSA agents uppercut them into orbit and then at the end of the level they're all put on a bus to prison and you have to choose what charges you're going to try and make stick to them slap on the wrist binds get you smaller rewards but smaller risk whereas trying to make a federal offence attempted murder or conspiracy to terrorism stick have the best possible rewards but may also land you some big legal fees for wrongful imprisonment and so forth the best thing is that this game was actually put out by the TSA themselves, poking fun at themselves in an attempt to find out which people out there might actually want to sit and do this thing for a living. So, everyone wins. Finally, we come to Rovio's new Ubermensch, Bad Piggies. Now, Bad Piggies is, as most people predicted it would be, a game where you have to build structures for the piggies to get the eggs from the birds. Um, I presume that's what they're doing. There's some kind of treasure map involved. Moving on. Um, the, you build your device from the structures available, much like Amazing Alex and much like the Amazing Machine before it. And then you have to negotiate the stage using physics. What I'm saying here is that Bad Piggies is last of the summer wine, the game. You have a bar up and you have to push someone down a hill in it. And that's it. And it's bloody great. Don't get me wrong, I've only had a chance to play it for a few hours. I'm not going to play it up to the 200th level and then tell you that the difficulty curve becomes too much to handle. That's because it's 69 bloody pence. Okay, it's a dollar app. Crisps are more expensive at the local garage. A bag of McCoys or Monster Munch is 85 bloody pence. I'm not going to go off that. It's a great game. Go check it out. Well, that's all we've got time for on the Megabit today. I'm off to Eurogamer in the morning. Hope to see you there. Tell them the voice of sex sent you.